All right, well first I'd like to thank everyone in attendance tonight at this year's Hall of Fame banquet. I'm truly honored and humbled to be in this room tonight amongst the other um, 2019 inductees. I'm so grateful and blessed to be given the opportunity to represent Freeland and hope that my athletic story can be an inspiration to young athletes within our community. I remember specifically attending the 2005 Hall of Fame banquet, being honored as the Female Athlete of the Year, and just in awe of the tremendous um, accomplishments that these talented athletes and coaches um, had being inducted in that evening. Never could have imagined that 14 years later, I would be the one standing up here accepting this honor. As I watch the highlight video of this evening, I'm overcome with joy just reminiscing over the memories of my time at Freeland and at the University of Missouri. I was fortunate to be a part of two teams that helped put Freeland and Mizzou on the map. However, those memories wouldn't have been possible without the experiences that made me the pitcher I became along the way. Those experiences began during Freeland Little League. I was that little girl in the outfield picking dandelions with her glove off. <clears throat> And if I recall correctly, that's when my dad realized that I needed to be in a position that was a bit more active. So pitching it was. Little did we know what was in store, nor did, we re nor did my dad realize the job duties that were assigned to being a pitcher's dad. The countless hours of pitching lessons, um, how many bruises his, his shins and knees would endure, how many teams he would coach, and the priceless memories we'd create together. So dad, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And to not forget about my mom and sisters who made the ultimate sacrifices from breaking up disagreements over pitching drills or having to catch me in the backyard. For years, not one week went by that we were not at SVSU with Doug Gillis for pitching lessons or a family vacation that our softball gloves, the bats and balls didn't make an appearance nor one summer weekend that my parents and sisters were not on a ball field cheering me on. From Freeland Little League to MBS Jets to Freeland High School, all so that a little girl could live out her dream to play softball in college. And for, I'm forever grateful for the love and support that you showed and continue to provide. Even to this day, my, my sisters often get, oh, you're Stacy's sister, <laughs> to which they always answer yes with a smile. Each team I, I have been a part of was another stepping stone that led Freeland from being the underdog to being the team to beat. I would never have thought about being lucky enough to be a part of not one, but two teams that brought home two, two state championships nor being recognized as Miss Softball in 2005. I can still remember to this day driving, down, driving downtown Freeland, returning from Battle Creek with our first state championship, from the police escorts to all of the fans that lined our community that greeted us at the high school. Those are memories that last a lifetime. This would not have been possible without Coach B Lander. Coach B, you challenged me to be the best version of myself. You challenged me to compete when I was that little freshman on varsity. And you taught me perseverance when times were hard and to stay grounded when success was easy. Because of this dedication and your love for the game, our team really had a unique bond that allowed us to be, to be the best we could. With being challenged to be the best version of myself, that led me down to my um, co collegiate play. I quickly found myself in a, into a new era at Michigan in unknown territory to me, where struggling performance was at the forefront. I certainly learned a lot about perseverance and how to move past failure. I knew I could compete at a high level of collegiate play and was determined to prove myself. To this day, I still don't know how I convinced my parents to let me transfer to Mizzou with no promise of playing time and only a chance in hope of receiving a second chance to play the game I loved. So I'm grateful to the coaches at Mizzou who took a chance on me and allowed me to have the opportunity to, to compete again. During, for, during my first season at Mizzou, I led our team to the Super Regionals for the first time in over a decade. The excitement only continued as I wrapped up my senior year at Mizzou, standing on the mound during the Women's College World Series, realizing 
that my dream had finally come true. Fortunately for me, my journey from Michigan to Mizzou has meant so much more than just achieving my softball dreams. I was lucky enough to find my better half, whom was quite the athlete himself. So to my husband, Chris, thank you for being my rock during my time at Mizzou when my family was afar. Your athletic accomplishments were inspiring. Thank you for keeping me motivated and pushing me to strive for success. Without your encouragement, my time at Mizzou would certainly not have been the same. I'm forever grateful for your continued love and support for me and our children. So to wrap up, I'd like to share a few lessons that I've learned throughout my college career. One, the importance of being a part of something greater than yourself. Two, to win, to lose with grace, humility, and gratitude. And three, the most important thing, never forget where you came from and all the people who helped you along the way. So I'm grateful to have grown up in the small town of Freeland, and as a tribute, I'm honored to represent the Saginaw County Hall of Fame. A special thank you to the board of directors, the committee members, and the lifetime members. <coughs> Thank you for continuing to invest in making the Saginaw County Hall of Fame so special. Congratulations to the past, the present, and the future inductees. Tonight is truly a night to cherish. Thank you.